So when I first started this CX Scrambler build, I needed to lift up the back end, obviously to get it where it is now. So the first thing that I did was I replaced the 16 inch with an 18 inch rim. And then obviously the tire that's on it at the moment has gained me about 30 millimeters, but it just wasn't enough. I've redone the seat and everything to give it a little bit more of a flat look than what it originally had. And that's done a little bit, but it still wasn't enough. So then I changed the shock absorbers, obviously the big thing that I needed to do. And that has gained me about 50 mil. So overall, I've got about 80 mil more in height at the back end. Uh, now, I don't know how that's going to go, obviously, on the swing arm uni joint. I still have no idea if that's going to hold up. But when I sit on it, obviously, it drops down a little bit, so it's not always going to be on that huge angle. But what this has done has created a little bit of a problem uh, that I need to fix. When I put the kickstand down, it almost falls over. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> So at the moment, uh, as the bike sits, I've got the center stand down and I just want to show you this. If I was to wiggle the bike left to right, the center stand doesn't even touch the ground. Um, it's meant to obviously lift the bike up and lift the tire off the ground at the back, which it won't do. Not really worried about it because this guy is going to be coming off anyway. What I do need to figure out is this. I need to obviously extend it um, pretty much from the bottom of the foot here down to the ground if I was to measure in a straight line. It's 120 millimeters as the bike sits upright. I need to pretty much just add what I've pretty much added to the bike, which is 80 millimeters. I think that'll be all I need. Uh, a couple of ways I could go about doing it is I could chop it here and chop it at the foot and then just put a whole new piece in and obviously put this guy in. That's one way. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a look first in my scrap bin, see if I can find the same thickness tube uh, first and then obviously I'll sleeve the tube at both ends of the join and then obviously weld it up and that would be pretty much hidden because I'll just send it all down flush. If I don't have the right thickness then obviously I'm going to do what I first said and go from there. Let's get into it. So I thought I'd quickly mention as to why we put tape on. Uh, for one, you can use it to protect something, but the main reason we do it when we're cutting tube or pipe is purely to try and get a nice straight line through the pipe. Uh, when you put this tape on and you overlap it, it's obviously, it's always going to line up. Uh, and then when it does line up, you know that it's gonna be a nice straight cut. Just thought I'd mention it for people that didn't know that. As you just saw, I decided to fabricate my own stand uh, and I've just used the top bracket and the spring that was originally on the bike uh, and I'm gonna obviously fabricate my own foot. It's a little bit long. This is 80 mil longer than the original one, but I still think it's too long. If you have a look from the back, it definitely needs to be leaned over a little bit more to be safe. So I've got to take a little bit more out of it uh, and keep in mind, I'll be putting probably about a five mil foot on it as well.
that worked out really well. Uh, that stand is now complete. Uh, it's given it the perfect amount of lean. I kind of went by feel. I just sort of initially had the 80 mils that I put into the stand and then uh, I took out increments of 10 mils. So as you can see, these are loft cuts here. I just took 10 mil at a time and just sort of put the bike down and just kind of felt it, see if it was like enough weight on one side. And yeah, turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it just needs a bit of black paint and she's good to go.